Okay, um, I want to ask you all a question for each group before we take a break. So just to guide your progress. Um, we have here that you're supposed to think about how you are consulting a company and um, how you are discovering the user needs and behaviors and their content, their structures, meaning and the context, the culture, and the technology for a beginning, for a start. And um, <coughs> we know in uh, the book on page 234, figure 10.3, there's <coughs> a figure of tools and methods for doing research to identify what is the context and the content and the user's uh, needs. So um, <coughs> let me ask. Uh, Group number one, in your role as a consultant for group number two, how do you identify the user needs and behaviors? What do you suspect that you will use to identify the user needs and behaviors? What technique will you use? Okay, the question is, <coughs> you're supposed to think about um, uh, what do you know about a company using this pyramid? And the company that you're thinking about is the company you're consulting. And you have, um, <coughs> here you have uh, users' needs and behaviors, and the content is the structure and the meaning of the, of the uh, information. And then the context is the cultural technolo technology, so that's the business culture. Okay, so <coughs> if I ask group number one, who is consulting group number two, how do you find out about the user needs and behaviors? There's several ways that they can do this. And maybe <coughs> they should select some of the approaches that they're going to use. <coughs> to identify what are the user needs and behaviors. So <coughs> what do you think you will use to understand every dot that knows users' needs and behaviors? Okay, so you use user interviews and user testing. Okay, so that's fine. You have identified an approach in which you're going to get this information. So that's fine. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so then uh, group number two, as a consultant of group number three, how will you identify the content in the, st the content of the, of the information architecture, the structure and the meaning? Well, as um, well, a society, see uh, more. Uh, hmm. uh, I see channel the digital plus yeah. on the internet. It's a uh, component and structure is... Uh, sorry, this is really This is a uh, content, it's, if you don't have the book, it's, well, it's on page 234. Heuristic evaluation, metadata and content analysis, content mapping, benchmarking. Can you think of what approach you would use to better Define the content. Okay, so you use content mapping. Uh, being, a, being a site that delivers uh, digital uh, entertainment in form of videos and programs, uh, you first have to discern what uh, 
the cost of paying customer wants a sort of we want sports, movies, series. <laughs> Do we, in movies, does, does he want horror films, action films, rom romantic films? Mm. Everything is uh, on, on the content, so it okay. has to be mapped accordingly. Okay. The user finds what he wants, where he wants. <coughs> good, okay, that's good. <coughs> and <coughs> as you know, you're not really doing this by itself. <coughs> you're doing this with all of these other things. So <coughs> I'm, <coughs> I'm just asking one group one question. But you're really concerned with all of the context and the content and the users at the same time. So, <coughs> okay, <coughs> group number three. As to your role in consulting, group number four, how would you um, identify the, or better understand the context, the culture and the technology? Uh, we we'll probably go for background research. So you use background research? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay. Um, I think that background research is one approach, but probably can be used in isolation because you also need to talk with different groups that are involved in the business. So this stakeholder interviews is probably also important in that sense. <coughs> okay, and then the um, group number four in your role in consulting, uh, group number one. Is there anything different that you would use than what was already mentioned, and if so, why? For any of these areas, I think I would use the, the same as the other ones. I would use the user interviews and the counterpart. Okay, user interviews and what else? I'm sorry. User testing. User testing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this is um, recording. I mean, you don't have access to this, but this would be if recording the site traffic and where people go. <coughs> and this is actually talking to people. And you get different kinds of feedback because sometimes <coughs> people say they need something or they want something and that, that actually isn't what they're looking for. So it's also good if you can do it to combine these types of approaches. Yeah. Okay, now we're at the break period. Let me just stop this. <coughs>